Hi everyone, Mike here with the National Weather Service in Wilmington, North Carolina. It's Friday, September 13th, and if you're watching this information after Friday, it may be outdated. For the latest information, you can always go to weather.gov and click on the map, or go to the National Hurricane Center's page for the latest information on the tropics. So Dorian is gone, but not forgotten, and we are still watching the tropics as we are in the peak of hurricane season here in September. So there's a few systems we are keeping an eye on here, and one of particular interest is this little disturbance that is off to the east of the Bahamas, and it's potentially going to become tropical cyclone number nine. It has a high likelihood that it'll develop into a cyclone, and maybe with potential impacts for the Carolinas. While confidence is fairly low at this point because the system hasn't really formed yet, impacts are currently forecast to be minimal for the Carolinas, but the main impact will be isolated flooding across mainly South Carolina, but could be into North Carolina as well. Given the low confidence, there is still potential for more significant impacts to the Carolinas, so please stay tuned to the latest forecast for changes. Confidence is increasing for strong rip currents late this weekend and into early next week. So for those beachgoers late this weekend, please listen to the lifeguards and other beach officials if the currents are too strong. Just a reminder again, it's September, which is the peak of hurricane season, and there's still several months to go. So please stay informed the latest forecast information on weather.gov and click on the map for your location or at the National Hurricane Center's page for the latest information on the tropics. And now's the time to spruce up your emergency plan and to make sure you have all of those things that you need for your emergency kit, like medications, enough food and water, at least three days worth for each member of your family. And don't forget your pets. For all of us here at the National Weather Service, I'm Mike. Thanks for watching.